are many questions about who will lead the Metropolitan Police Department after Troy Riggs stepped down. The mayor's office has confirmed to RTV6 that the city will name a new chief in the next week or so. Call 6 investigates Rafael Sanchez joins us now with the very latest tonight. Rafael. Uh, Jason Erica, good evening. Former Chief Troy Riggs believes that the mayor needs to pick someone from inside the department because outside it's not, it's not the right choice. Riggs voluntarily stepped down after serving a year. The issue was money, and due to family responsibilities, he found a job outside of policing that now pays more. Now, Riggs believes the next choice for chief is already within the police department. That person, he says, will have to find new dollars to hire more officers to patrol 400 square miles. He also believes the next leader will have to find ways to expand community policing. And then there's the pressure from the politicians and the public. It's the rude awakening that they own all of it. And it doesn't matter if somebody made a poor decision 10 years ago, you own it now as police chief. And you have to be able to deal with issues quickly. And the other thing I would say is that the police department needs to continue on the path that we have set of being open, being transparent. Rick says Metro must also strike a balance between making those arrests. That's really the priority, but also then connecting people in need with the resources like the, a food pantry or maybe even mental health issues. And Rafael Riggs gave you some insight on the homicide rate we had not heard. Uh, we had 149 homicides, one homicide, too many. But Metro Police projects the possibility of about 180 homicides. And this is why he says we did not re reach that figure. By the grace of God, one. Uh, number two is that we listened to the community and our officers and made substantial changes. In our highest crime areas where that, where that violence is really spiking, those 15 beats, 15 square miles, the homicide rate actually dropped by 10 percent. The non-fatal shootings dropped by 7 percent. Because we have the mechanisms to make it work across the city, we just don't have enough people to expand it. And in light of that homicide rate, Riggs adds that another key to the city's success is community groups willing to step up and be a part of the solution. Rafael, working for you. Thank you so much.